despite being hit with that 10 point deduction they're 17th they're four points clear of the relegation zone three wins on the bounce and just as important if you're a defender three clean sheets yep. on the bounce as well I'm delighted to say we're joined right now by James Tarkovsky morning to you James morning James Good morning, how are we? Yeah, really good, thanks, mate. How how have things changed? How's it all turned around? Um, yeah, we're just building slowly. We're building very slowly. Um, we had a good start to the season performance-wise, but not with not with the results. Um, but we've just continued that hard work that we, that we did early, early season um, and, and results have picked up, which have been nice. James, I was going to ask you, mate, um, clearly anything but an ideal situation, the, 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 the points deduction. However... Um, looking at you boys, has it in any way, shape, or form, uh, shape or form, galvanised you? Has 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 Sean Dyche got you together and gave you a sort of you know, you know, a, a group mentality, a kind of siege mentality, if you like? I think, as I said before, the, the performances <clears throat> early season were good, um, and then maybe just that point deduction just put a few more eyes on us, um, and maybe it has just brought everyone together that a little bit more. There's definitely a unity between the club, the fans. The, the players, everyone here, um, and I think a big message from the manager has been everyone's nose is pointing in the same direction, and that definitely seems the case right now. Yeah, and Sean's going to love three consecutive clean sheets, and and so are you, I guess. But I look at the improvement of some of the players uh, yeah. re- recently, yeah. James. You know, um, Jared Branthwaite, Mikalenko, Garner, McNeil. The improvement has been huge. How much credit to the manager? Yeah, of course, yeah. It's the manager's job to make us play well and, and win games. Um, and the, the players you've just mentioned there, and, and, and plenty more that have been playing out the skin. Um, and hopefully that continues. I think you mentioned Jared. He's so young, but plays with such a well, such an experienced head already. Mikalenko's been exceptional for us at left-back. I think he has one of the toughest jobs with most most teams' top players playing out on that right-hand side. And he's dealt with pretty much all of them in recent weeks. Um, and then, yeah, Dwight McNeil's been popping up with goals and assists recently. So um, there's plenty of players in good form. I mean, Jared. You know, I read a headline from him in the paper. He's only twenty-one. Yeah. But like every kid, he says every young kid has dreams of of playing for England. Do you see that in him? Could one day he take that step? Oh, comfortably, comfortably. And I wouldn't surprise me it happens sooner rather than later. Um, you see him play. He's got everything. He's got everything you need. And I say he's playing with an experienced head already at such a young young age. So um, it wouldn't surprise me if in, if, in, if in the coming months and years that he's, he's in that squad. Mm. James, I'm thinking about it. You know, back as a player, when you're on a run and things are going well, the game's coming thick and fast. You just can't get enough of them. And I'm looking at your next few games coming up. You've obviously, I think you've got to go to Burnley. You've got you've got Fulham in a cup tie, then travel down to Spurs. These are games. I'm betting you right now that the players are just looking forward to and actually relishing. Oh yeah, for sure. We're, we're ready to go and play again now. Uh, it was nice last week having those three games in the week, and we could get back out on the pitch straight away and um, stick points on the board. So. Um, ready to go again the weekend, and then we'll forward to that cup tie after that because um, it's a great opportunity for yeah. the club like to go and get some silverware. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I bet you're looking forward to Burnley, by the way. Of course, your own club, anyway. But you, one thing that you, you can't help but see, James, you know, in the, the Everton team, is that spirit. Of, I mean, for instance, with all due respect to Chelsea, when you went ahead at Goodison at the weekend. I thought there's only one side yeah. winning this. I did not see Chelsea getting back into it because I knew you boys would, would grit your teeth and see it out come what may. Well, I think one thing this manager does more than anything, and that's tactical tactics aside, is he, he brings the team together. He brings a team spirit, a unity, a togetherness. Um, and they're all things on show right now. And we've got to continue that because that's one of the most important things I think at this club is that we show that week in, week out. Uh, and we have been doing it so far and we've got to continue to do that for this season. I've got to say, James, really, it's refreshing to hear you talk about that cup tie more than anything against Fulham because it's a quarter-final. Obviously, yourselves, Fulham, looking at Port Vale, Murderville, Chelsea, Newcastle, Liverpool, West Ham. That, with the greatest respect, is something, you know, you look at a lot of clubs now, perhaps, and they don't field strong sides in the cup, but clearly you and your team and Sean Dykes and the supporters will look at that as a massive opportunity to get to a cup final. Oh, absolutely. So you mentioned some of the teams there. I think you look at it and some of the big teams have been have been knocked out. Um, and what a, what a chance for us to, to go and get some silver. I'm desperate to win something in my career. Um, and this is probably the best chance I've had so far. And c- can you imagine? I mean, Evertonians—they've been starved of success. Yeah. Can you imagine Evertonians at Wembley? <laughs> it'd be some sight. It'd be some sight. I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully we'll look forward to that one. Yeah, it's it's interesting. You, you say, James, you can, you can concentrate on cup games now. Does that mean you feel 
secure in your, your Premier League status. I, I know it's only a few points, yeah. but the way you're playing, are you looking up rather than down? I think that's always going to be the case. We, we always be looking up the table. Obviously, the, the deduction didn't help with that. Um, the Premier League's always our bread and butter, and that's for everyone, at, like everyone else in this league. Um, but the cup competitions, especially in a quarter-final like we are now, um, he's got to get us excited, and we've got to look forward to that. Yeah. James, tell me, what's it like playing in front of that keeper who I think is absolutely outstanding, by the way, but he does love a wind-up, doesn't he? I was watching him again at the weekend, flinging his legs up. I mean, the, fa- the fans love him, to be fair, but he, he must give you some confidence playing in front of him. Oh, he's an outstanding goalkeeper. We fall out half the time on the pitch because he never shuts up shouting at me. Um, but no, he's been exceptional. And I was always playing with Nick Pope and thought he was an excellent goalkeeper. Yeah. But I can really see why he's England's number one because he, he's, he's right at the top. Uh, James, we had your old team met Andros Townsend on the show yesterday uh, and he was telling us that um, he likes uh, he likes chicken feet to eat just to try and extend, extend his longevity. I, I think he's probably a bit older than you, but have you thought about dabbling with chicken's feet? I'll try anything once, so I'll have a go with <laughs> With chicken's feet, it probably would only be once, in fairness, James. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that'll be on the diet and the, and the, and the kitchen at Goodness and me to be quite frank with you Brilliant Look, uh, uh, James keep up the good work thanks for joining Absolutely. us today give our regards to your manager he's an absolutely top man 100% good luck mate Talk Sport Breakfast waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker Talk Sport